Hey guys, this is a tutorial for chasing Ku from the movie Drowning Love, which is a Japanese movie. It's on YouTube and I watched it not too long ago. Um, I don't, I wouldn't recommend it just because I personally didn't like it that much, but it was just really weird. It was kind of weird, but I guess our cultures are different, of course. I totally recommend learning this song though. It is super fun to learn. It's kind of difficult, but I hope this video helps you learn it. Also, let me know if there is any other covers that y'all want me to do or create tutorials for, because I really enjoy doing that, and I really enjoy it when people are actually learning how to play songs for my tutorials. So comment down below and um, let me know what types of songs, which songs you want me to learn for y'all. I can learn by ear too, so. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So, let's get right into it. We start with a B flat, F flat, B flat, C, D flat, and A flat. So, we're gonna just play that once. And then we go to an A flat with the left hand. A flat, C, D flat in the left hand. And then we're going down with the left hand. Same thing with the right hand. And then left hand plays octave D flats. And right hand plays C, D flat, E flat, and A flat. And then you're going to repeat that one more time. the same thing an octave higher so you're just gonna move from here up here up to here then you move back down play that again Not at the same time, but we're going to do like this little pattern like this. Move down to an F natural. But for the right hand, we're doing this chord. It's a D flat major chord. we're going to move to, after we play that five times, we're going to play an E flat. Back to an F, back to an E flat. And then just A flat and C. So the whole thing goes like that. together with the left hand, you're going to go like, and then after that, right hand, I mean left hand is going to play the Fs, and left right hand is going to play the C, D flat, E flat, and A. and then on the fourth time you just uh, before going down to C again you're gonna play a B flat so it goes like together sounds like 
this. like I just did and then you're gonna go up an octave and repeat all of that there for the left hand just because it's really hard to do with the right hand because um, the right hand's doing something completely different and the left hand's supposed to go like this If I had sheet music, maybe I could do it, but of course I could do it. Sheet music is easy, but it's just difficult for me to do without that. So anyways, moving on after that little pattern up here. After that, we're going to move the left hand back up here to our original little pattern and play it twice and then go back down and do that an octave lower and the second time we're going to play two octave G flats uh, to prepare us for our next section after we play these, we're immediately going to play F, B flat, and D flat in the right hand. When we play that chord with the right hand, we're going to play this G flat also. And then we're going to play A flat with the left hand, and then two octave, dang, you can't see two octave A flats, two octave A flats with the right hand way up here, so it goes like, E flat, and then an A flat with the left hand, and A flat, D flat, E flat with the right hand. And you're supposed to, well, uh, glissando all of these chords for the right hand. So. And then it goes to F, left hand, F, A flat, B flat, C flat. together B flat F A flat C and D flat you play the right and left hand together at the same time for this one it's separate uh, the left and right hand are separate the next one F in the right left hand and E flat A flat C flat in the right hand and don't forget to glissando that also the 
this together. And then the last, wait, that wasn't the last one, never mind. Second to last. The last one is F left hand, E flat, A flat, C flat in the right hand. So like. Okay, I don't really know how to count this, but I'm sure if I really got down and got a metronome out and figured it out, I could, but uh, I'm just like pausing kind of like using a lot of expression basically for this part. A lot of pauses and make sure that you're noticing like when I play the left hand at the same time as the right hand chord and when I'm not because some of the chords are like just the left hand first and then the right hand. So anyways, it goes like those ones are together. play it through without saying anything and then just watch my hands. This is the fun part. Okay, so we're starting with D flats octave. We're not playing at the same time, we're just playing them uh, one after the other. The, the left, the <laughs> pinky, I can't speak right now. The pinky goes before the thumb, so. So that's our pattern that we're doing. That's pretty much all we're doing for the rest of the song with the left hand. And for the right hand, this is what we're starting with. A flat, D flat, E flat, E natural, and A flat. I don't know if I should be referring to them as sharps, but whatever. So, after we do that, so we're playing the left hand first, and then the right hand follows. So we're going up, kind of like a glissando, a slow glissando. Actually, the, the thumb is playing in the middle. Right hand plays B flat, G, A flat, and E. A flat, E, and then we're going up to a E 
last one, we're going to play the E flat. Like. Okay. That's the melody. So all together with the left hand, it goes like this. I'm going to play it really slowly. or something before you play the right hand. Sorry, it's hard to like freaking remember what to do when I'm playing that slow. <laughs> but um, yeah, so then after that we're going down, to, we go down with the left hand to those Bs. And we're playing an E. E uh, chord with the right hand with the B at the bottom. And then A, E flat, B. A flat, E, B. And then moving to a B chord. And then another E chord. Right? That's right, right? So with the right hand, really slowly, this is what that sounds like. Then after that, we move up even higher, E flat, B, and A flat. So we're just playing those same notes. The top melody is what's the only thing changing. So this is E flat, B, A flat, E, G flat, A, A flat, and then E, B, E. Okay, so with the left hand. Just that section for y'all really quick so it goes like to really jump to this B flat. A flat, D flat, E flat, E, B. And then when you move down to the Bs, you play a B, E flat, and E. Down to A. hand you play this E E flat E G flat E so that sounds like with the right hand. 
second time up here, this is what you're gonna do. same time as those two octaves together is a D flat, E flat, G flat, A flat, and B at the top. So just that section all together goes like this slowly. see it from this overhead view. All right, wish me luck. <laughs> Where do I even start? our tutorial i really hope that you got all the info you needed and were able to are able to play it please comment down below if you are able to play it and i would love to see it um send videos to my email um which is linked in my description love you guys peace